Coming up in this video. Oh, oh my Kelsey, it started running. Whoa, dude, dude. Oh my Oh my Are you in this room with a snail? You're gonna need a change of clothing to watch this because these are 30 scary videos that'll leave your pants brown. Number 30, half body. Are zombies real? Redditor Coyote Basic poses this question to the Reddit community alongside this video. I don't know if this could even be considered a zombie. It is absolutely disgusting though. The feet are still moving while the body appears sliced clean in half, but some aren't buying it. Well, I agree that this looks unrealistic. I don't know how this was done, and I could do without the French onion soup reference. I think I gotta throw up now. Number 29, Crop Circles, captured on camera in Wiltshire in 1989 and shared by Redditor Dex Meets Dexter. This footage filmed by John Wabe shows two mysterious flying objects, creating what appears to be crop circles. Crop circles form below the strange white objects. Watch again. Is this real? Are we seeing these mysterious extraterrestrial signals being formed before our very eyes? According to many in the comments, this video is a known hoax that was debunked years ago. This still doesn't stop some people from believing this is real though. I'm convinced it's a fake, but a pretty compelling one at that. Number 28. We are not alone. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by ImpressiveMany4743, this Redditor wrote, We are not alone. The Redditor says they filmed this on their way home. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Was out here today and seeing these stars formed up. I don't know what the hell they are. Look, a perfect triangle. And they're slowly disappearing. Are those two lights a part of a much larger aircraft? I don't know for sure, but I do know that if I saw this on my way home, I'd be nothing short of terrified. Number 27, Attached. After taking part in many paranormal investigations, YouTuber Ricky Velasquez may have brought something home with him. He says this is happening in his house. Watch the child's kitchen playset behind him. The doll moved, and later that night, this happens. Something made a noise nearby, but it's hard to tell where it's coming from. 
Could it be the kitchen set again? That's what it sounds like to me. And considering Ricky's history with paranormal encounters, I wouldn't doubt that something attached itself to him. Number 26. Noise and Flash This noise anomaly is freaky. YouTuber SS3 Paranormal captures a strange sound, followed by a dark flash in the corner of the room. Look and listen. Let's isolate the two. Here's the noise. It almost sounds extraterrestrial to me. And here's the flash. Watch the top right corner. Well, that could be explained by the camera's light adjustment. I'm not sure what the sound is. Maybe an extraterrestrial's belly growling? If that's the case, feed him. Number 25. UK Poltergeist Is this paranormal or a magic trick? YouTube channel Creepy7 Paranormal shares this video, which could be either or. Just watch. I want you to witness what I'm going through here because uh, this is what I'm dealing with. What are you angry about? The coin continues to hop in the jar for nearly three minutes, and at one point, it gets even more bizarre. Guys, are you seeing it? Whoa. How is that possible? Come on, it's in the jar. I'm not sure how to explain this. I don't think this could be magic or faked. All I know is, if I were this lady, I wouldn't touch that coin. It will probably burn straight through your hand. Number 24. Gin Game This gin is leading us into the fiery depths below. YouTuber Hassan Barbar encounters this terrifying gin in an abandoned hut, and he believes it's here to trap him. Shots. At first, it seems to be hiding from him. It stands guard behind the wall. But then it lets out this terrifying sound. This is the creepiest game I've ever seen in my life. When Hassan goes to look for him, the creature has disappeared. Where did the jinn go? I'm not sure, but I'd bet my life that we shouldn't follow. Number 23. Haunted Apartment What goes on in your apartment in the darkness of night? YouTuber American Ghost Hunter shares this video originally posted by TikToker at Dude My House Is Haunted. This was captured on a security camera. First, the chair moves. Then some vapor-like figure manifests briefly and does this. Let's see that again.
This is completely unsettling, but I spotted something that others haven't. Watch the doorway to the left. A figure shifts past there as well. It's hard to tell if that's a glass window reflecting something inside or an open doorway with someone moving past in the other room. Either way, the figure looks just as ghostly to me as the one doing the damage. Maybe these spirits are working in tandem. Number 22. Horrifying Creature A man was living isolated in a forest. One day, while he was walking along, he heard strange sounds. He arrived at a dark part of the forest where he saw a tall, hairless, pale creature leaning against a tree. Its hind legs looked like those of a pig's, but then it turned around. Shared by Spanish YouTube channel Breakman, I also came across this image on Fahad Rai's YouTube channel. The original source is Kujangala. According to Breakman, the person who encountered this thing said it was hunched over, with a face covered in red, like it was feeding on something. As he did not have a recording device, this remained a horror story kept locked up tight in the imagination. But from then on, the man always brought a recording device on his forest walks. And one day, on just such a walk, he heard strange noises again, so he started recording. And this is what he captured. The man believes it's the same creature he met before in these haunted woods. Is it a mythological creature? A supernatural being? A pigman? Or something else altogether? I don't know how to classify this creepy thing, but I do know it's hungry. Number 21. Williams County Jail some sad souls are still locked up in old Williams County Jail. YouTube Team Ghost Bros teams up with spirit stalkers to investigate the abandoned jail in Bryan, Ohio. In the interrogation room, the team uses a spirit box to interrogate the spirits. A little later, the spirits show that they are watching them. Six. Six. Six, yeah. Six what? There's six of us. Ooh. Then this alarming exchange occurs. We're gonna go to the gear room. Come on. Come on! No, I heard our Vaughn, dude. How do you know his name? I introduced myself. Oh. What he said? He said he said he said it. I said, how do you know his name? It's like he said it. He said he said it, dude. Yeah. yeah. A recording device also captures some welcoming voices. Whoa, what's that? Whoa, 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 the spirit starts playing around with them. Can you tell us your name or one of our names? Let us know you're listening to us. I just said my name. Jake? Can you please, at some point throughout the night, scream? Oh! Oh! No! It even seems to be directly ordering them around. Guys, the cell. Come. I just said take it or Jacob. Jake. It just said Jake right after this. Dude, that's intelligent. It's saying right now he's telling me that. Yeah. Look at me. Thank you. So oh. We hunt. Even after passing, those who were locked up here hunt us. Can you feel the evil on you? Because I can. Number 20. Haunted UK. While in a home with an aggressive poltergeist, it's best to watch your head. YouTube channel I Want to Believe shares this scary video of a paranormal team in the UK encountering a rowdy ghost. Please, anything. Now, I'm not being funny, people. I'm going. I'm going. Just, what's the name? Water. Word walk's just come up. That is in the name. 
dishes and cups are being thrown onto the floor. And then it seems right at him. Yeah, but look, it's come up with chat. I'm not going to sit here. I have things thrown at me. If you're there, please show yourself. <coughs> it's thrown at me! Although it's hard to tell what's going on here, I feel like the poltergeist's angry energy is escalating, and I wouldn't want to be there at its height. Number 19. All at once. Things aren't always what they seem. YouTube channel Rootstown Paranormal shares this security footage captured at a gas station in Wadsworth, Ohio. Pay attention to the garbage cans. Every garbage can shifts to the right simultaneously. But how? If you watch closely, I think the video has been sped up toward the end. Keep your eye on the truck bed. The bottom right of the tarp seems to move unnaturally. This suggests to me that a strong wind may have moved all of the trash cans, but not as quickly as the video suggests. What do you think is going on here? Number 18. Portal House of Texas While investigating Victoria's Black Swan Inn, YouTube team Amy's Crypt speaks with the spirits within. Is there three of you here with us? Can you... Gate. When I hear gate, I think of like gateway for some reason, and I know there's a portal here which we'll show you shortly. I don't know if that is what they're trying to communicate. Thank you if you're trying to speak to us. In another room, the spirits declare their intentions. Is there anyone in this room that would like to communicate with us? Then this cowboy shows up. What the f is that? Oh, didn't Joanne say that there's a guy with a cowboy head that walks around and goes, hur, hur, hur. Yeah. She said that. He has she like did. a deep, like, guttural voice. Yes. Could that have been they can also see something in this mirror that viewers at home cannot see. Are you in this room with us now? <laughs> I've got cold chills now all of a sudden. I was saying I was feeling cold behind me just before. I can just see a dude standing in there. So it's very dark and in this mirror over here, like it just looks like there's someone standing there. The fact that the spirit said behind you after Amy had just mentioned she felt something behind them gives me legit chills. I sense there really is something here and maybe this home has many portals and this mirror is one of them. Number 17. Old Parkside Lunatic Asylum While exploring the Old Parkside Lunatic Asylum in Adelaide, Australia, YouTube team Adelaide Haunted Horizons captures perhaps one of the saddest EVPs I've ever heard. Listen closely. That was a pretty clear EVP, and it definitely did sound like a child's voice. This haunting EVP suggests that terrible things happened here at the asylum, and their residents haven't left. Number 16. House of Spirits This mausoleum of sorts has been abandoned, and the YouTube team, Beyond the Grave, ventures inside to investigate. While there, they capture this incredible EVP through a spirit communication device. I'm hoping you guys are seeing all this. My body's around here. <sighs> That's entirely too spot on to be dismissed. The spirit confirms that her body is amongst these coffins. Let's hear it one more time. I'm hoping you guys are seeing all this. My body's around here. <sighs> I understand why her body's here, but why is her spirit lingering nearby? I think she is having a hard time letting go of the corporal world. Number 15. Dark Web Box Would you dare open a mystery box that was sent to you from the dark web? I sure wouldn't, but YouTuber CryptoNWO did, and he lived to regret it. 
As he finds a dream catcher in the box, he hears the sound of footsteps behind him. Oh, we have another dream catcher. Look at the little intricate design pattern here. You're telling me if I take this and I hang this in my bedroom and I, like, I won't have bad dreams? I've been having a lot of bad dreams lately. Maybe I should use this. Is someone here? The person who sent the package? Without further explanation, the next thing we see is Crypto hiding in the back of his vehicle. I assume this means he searched his house and hid from whoever he believed was inside. But afterward, it doesn't seem to phase him. I literally just heard something. This mystery box cost $666, the devil's number. Is this a home invasion by the devil? It's possible, but it's also possible that a friend dropped by. Either way, I think it's time to get rid of this box. Number 14. Abandoned Cabin Gather around this haunted and abandoned cabin in the woods. It has some ghost stories to tell. Debbie from YouTube channel, Spectral Researchers Spirit Talkers, shares this video of their investigation of this mysterious place. Using a Kinect device, Debbie greets her first specters. I really would look. Oh, hello there. Hello, two of you. Well, hi. Very pleased to meet you. My name is Debbie. Please excuse my intrusion in your home. The figures remain visible for several minutes. No men in your home. I just want to talk to you and let you know that you're not forgotten. One of the figures comes and goes. The little one seems to be doing flips or something. It's all over the place. Hello. Can you tell me what year you moved into this house? Then they both leave, but one is coaxed back. I saw you come back then. What were you growing in that shed? In no other room in the house does Debbie capture any figures on the Kinect. It seems to me that they congregate here for some reason. If I had to guess, I think it's either where they passed away or is their favorite spot in the cabin. Number 13. Demon This abandoned house holds a demon, and Jenya and Dima from the YouTube team, Dark Mystic, are about to feel its wrath. As they set up a spirit box to talk to the demon, another steady cam captures this. And a little later, this happens. The team hears this and goes to check but finds nothing. Is it just a coincidence that these things fell as they attempted to communicate with the demon? You might think so, until you see this image also captured on a steady cam. The demon lies in the shadows. Do you see it? Well, it could just be shadowy pareidolia, combined with the unexplained falling items. I do think there's more to it than that. Number 12. Shadow in the Window After watching this clip, you're not going to want to sleep anywhere near a window. Shared by YouTuber Christy D. Abnormal Paranormal, see if you can catch what's peeking in. Did you see it? A dark shadow ducked down from the window. Here it is again, more slowly this time.
There's definitely someone or something there, but what? It disappears so fast, I don't know if it's human or paranormal. Either way, it's watching. Number 11. Historic Jefferson The Historic Jefferson Hotel has seen so much paranormal activity that the place puts on a ghost tour. But it's what happens behind the scenes that makes me a believer. Watch the copper rack in the hotel's laundry room. After moving on its own, the rack appears stable when the hotel manager readjusts it. Watch again. Here, you clearly see that it's leaning up against the desk, and then right here. According to the manager, the bottom of the rack is the same as the top. It had been sitting there for a long time without moving at all. Even if the rack was unstable, I feel like its movement isn't natural. Do you think one of the hotel's many ghosts is responsible? I do, and they seem like attention seekers. Number 10. Randonautica Andrew from the YouTube channel Proving Demons teams up with Kaylee. From Kaylee Colston Explores for this Randonautica adventure, but they're in for it. The app sends them to this creepy remote road where the streetlights are flickering. Oh, look, there's, is there another one over there? There's, yeah, yeah, look, there's two. In the distance. There's two flickering. You got oh. that, and you got that. Oh my god, that's so weird. It's kind of it kind of seems like Morse code. They pull forward a bit and find another lamp, also flickering. Okay, I literally just shut this off and I didn't even realize. So there's one behind me, there's one down there, there's one there. There's another one down there. Look down there as well. Look in the distance. All, oh one, my. Two, Three, why, behind you. why are all the lights flickering? I feel like someone's trying to tell them something. Maybe it's a warning? They continue on their randonautica and come across this. What the <gasps> It's me and Dan. Oh my god. And Is that Yosko? It's Yosko? This randonautica no longer seems so random. Not only is Andrew's face there, but so is fellow paranormal investigator Jasko's. They are then led to Holy Trinity Church, and inside they find this. So they practice satanic rituals in this room. Come on. Beneath the poncho is a creepy surprise. That? Look inside your heart. What? Is that real? Is that real? Yeah. Put it, no, put it down, put it down, put it down. It may be a real heart, but I'm not sure that it's a human one. I mean, if it is, they've got a whole lot more to worry about than finishing this game. They've just come upon a crime scene, and judging by the mannequin faces, I think they have a stalker. Number nine. UK Conjuring House While exploring the real-life UK Conjuring House, YouTube team Explore A Lot is in for a scare. When they ask the spirits a question using the spirit box, they get a direct answer. Are any of the miners here that died in the pit outside? Outside? outside. What that gave me shivers <laughs> They ask again, but the spirits are elusive. Are we speaking to the miners? Why? Later, during an Estes session, they get more answers. Is there a strongest spirit? They are. Point the knock. To so near the door. The spirits encourage the team to make more efforts. Try yeah. harder. Go are, on. Are we getting something right? We're trying to feel your energy, but you're not setting any of our devices off. Reach out for us. We're going to come through. This seems to me like a clear message. They are trying to come through from the other side. 
Later, using a flashlight, a K2 meter, and a REM pod, the team continues to try and get to the bottom of things. Do you not know where your body is? doesn't know. Something. There you go. Yeah, that is confirmation. Both of them are like going off together, yeah. aren't they? To me, this confirmation indicates that these spirits are lost and either need help crossing over to the other side or returning here to Earth. Otherwise, they'll be forever stuck in limbo. Number 8. Haunted Hospital YouTuber Garrett Watts and Andrew are spending the night in this haunted hospital, and they may need a doctor afterward. As they close themselves in, they realize they're now stuck in there. Did it just break off? I don't think so. <laughs> I think we're stuck in here. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's set up the no scare room. I actually literally just heard something, and I'm not just doing this. After hearing something that sounded like a bone, they set up their no scare room, but soon they realize they're going to be scared regardless. In editing, they discovered this EVP. It tells them to stop. They didn't hear this in the moment, so they didn't stop. Instead, they enter the bathroom. What was that noise? Why am I walking over there like it's comforting? Like I walked away just Wait, what was that noise? Was that the door? That thump above us? With all of these unexplained happenings, you'd think they'd call this mission off, especially after this EVP. Say, anyone in this room? Despite Andrew's response, they didn't hear that in the moment either, but they do hear this. Are you kidding me? That door just closed on its own. I swear it did. There's nothing on the ground that was wedged in between. I thought that... Dude, it's over there again. What's there? I think this hospital is definitely haunted, and the six souls here are unwelcoming. Number 7. Hill House The most haunted house in Texas has many secrets, and YouTube team Nick and Ryan are here to find them. As they're reading through Hill House's mysteries, they hear something. Open the closet. This is one of the portals the spirits enter through. Right. Hello? Where? Later, they enter the most haunted part of the house, and things devolve from there. Is there anyone down here? Oh, 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 whoa. What happened? What happened? Whoa. So, Puma, did you hear that? Yeah. I heard that. Something touched my leg. I swear, listen, I swear. They said your dog's name, bro. As Nick feels like he bumped into something in the room, the spirit box says his dog's name. Then several devices go off at once. Please don't. I don't know what this is. I'm literally realizing. Obi, is this you? Going on. Are the spirits here trying to communicate with the team? It seems like there's plenty of evidence to me. They're definitely present, but what they'd like to say is yet unclear. Number 6. Penhurst Asylum While touring Penhurst Asylum in Spring City, Pennsylvania, YouTube team Grim Life Collective are astounded by its horror. It would be a beautiful ruin if its history wasn't so horrifying. A room like this, four people on average. Just walk in this history, just looking at this, is just imagining. Isn't it, isn't it yeah, it's incredible. After seeing the real place, the team is welcomed into the haunted house, a tourist attraction mirroring Penhurst Asylum. sense that they would have an operating room. The operating table makes sense, but this doesn't. How happy are you that they don't have the air on? I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure if it's a good idea to make this asylum into a haunted house. I think it could insult the spirits that reside here. Number 5. In the Cupboard What mystery is hidden inside this cupboard? YouTuber Upstate Basher 1989 shares this creepy video that starts with an unexplained noise. After a moment, you can hear something try to open the cupboard. Then, things inside the cupboard start to move. And it's opened again. Then, something messes with the camera itself. Is this a real poltergeist? I think so. And it seems to be so camera shy that it's willing to break it. Number 4. Demon Fire does YouTuber Mo Sarchi have a demon fire starter on his hands? Watch as he tries to communicate with the demon in his haunted abandoned house. What are you, a demon? Did you see that? Keep an eye on the top of the screen near the doorway. It looks like something is manifesting from the ground. What are you, a demon? What are you, a demon? Then this happens. Yes, you did, Mo. Mo heads upstairs to check on things a while later, but hears the REM pod go off, and then he finds this. <gasps> oh my! Oh my! What the just happened? Oh my! As Mo examines the remnants, he hears another unexplained sound. Look at that, guys. The bottle broke. <gasps> what the is that? I'm pretty sure that was the demon, and by the sounds of it, he's sick of Moe's shenanigans. Number 3. Ghost Shopping Security footage caught a lone shopping cart roaming the store on its own after hours. YouTube channel Behind a Side shares this paranormal phenomena. At first, I thought it was simply on a roll, but then it took that sharp right. Nope, that's definitely a mystery shopper. And to me, the greatest mystery is what's in that ghost's cart. Number 2. Flashlight Off Shared by YouTuber Keith Proctor a paranormal team set up some flashlights at an abandoned nightclub. Here's what happened. Watch the center of the ground. An object is thrown and rolls across the floor. Take another look. What threw it? While we can't see what lies hidden off screen, I'm convinced by the team's non reaction that something else threw it, and I think it might be a phantom raver. 
I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Hill House 2 A second entry on this list explores Hill House the most haunted house in Texas. This time, YouTuber Kelsey Davis, who is a psychic medium, feels the presence there. I have chills right now. There's someone behind me. I think it's Toby. I'm getting the chills. Toby. And she hears it too. Oh. Oh, oh my Kelsey, it started running. Oh, he started running. Yes. It was loud. You heard his foot. It was like that. As they're turning on the spirit app, they hear another terrible bump. <gasps> oh, Kelsey, Kelsey. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Later, a paranormal device goes off, as does a child's toy. Where's that coming from? It's upstairs. It's Josh's room. <gasps> Get the f out of here. No, f this. What? That is f this. What was that? It's a f toy. That's in Josh's room. They head up to Josh's room to see what toy was triggered. Hi, Joshua. Oh. <laughs> what? Something ran up again, like, um, like ran, at, ran at me. Ran at you? Yeah. What does that sound? Where's that coming from? I think I've had enough of Hill House. I'm 100% positive that if I paid this place a visit, I'd leave with my pants brown.